Okay. So, yeah, um, I don't know what to do, but we need to go and do Hello there, Warden. I'm a friend. Mark Hurd, you're putting up the good fight against Rogaine and Hell, right? Good for you. Make a spit on all those arrogant noble bastards. I've also heard you have certain skills. Skills of the street, you might say. No judgments here, mate. I want to help you. The name is Slim Cordry, and if you've heard of me, I've been doing a sad job of it, haven't I? I hear a great many things. And for those who view certain pesky laws as mere nuisances, there's some ripe fruit to be plucked out there. I can point the way. All I ask is for a little slice for myself. My share goes to a good cause. My family, I've got 15 cousins. Fifteen? Can you imagine? My uncle must walk around with a permanent bulge. It's disturbing, that is. Well, one of my mates noticed your skills. Nice piece of work, that uncommon calibre, if you don't mind me saying. But I need to know what else you can do. Ever done bump and grabs? Do much blending in shadows? Different opportunities for different folk, you know. More of a second story, man, eh? So was I back in the day. The thrill of the hunt. Dodging guards, in and out, no one the wiser. Ah, oh, the good life. Now that we have that settled, just ask away. One point. I don't like blood much. Call me old-fashioned, but the maker says thou shalt not strangle, decapitate or whatnot unless the other fellow really had it coming, eh? I realise sometimes you do what you have to, but restraint, right? So, what are you interested in? I've got a place for you. It should be easy money for you. Lady Sophie is an intimate of Arl Hal. Real intimate. She's visiting the country, because that's what rich folk do when the whole bloody kingdom's in danger. Sorry, they just get me so angry. <clears throat> her room in the Nord Noble Tavern is unattended. That means her valuables are just there for the taking. You've got the tavern staff to worry about, plus she has hired a guard. A very overworked, tired and bored guard, though. Just be careful and you should be fine. Good luck. They say you can get anything here. I want to stop you. Think again. You're here to report another crime? I swear we should just cordon off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? The lower market isn't deemed important by the captain of the guard, even less with Al Hau in charge. So when I finally get the new men I request, I get the delightful surprise of discovering their lords such and such as illegitimate, untrained, moronic whelps. But lords keep sending me more of them. It's decent pay, no expectations, a uniform. So I have a legion of bastards to protect the market from pickpockets, stabbings, and whatnot. And all how especially picked men are the worst of the lot. You're serious? I mean, yes, yes. I've got a pretty popular uh, establishment. It's crawling with mercenaries. If I send my boys in, someone might get, make a forbid, hurt. And I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a guard is actually dangerous. Do a good job and I'll see you get some silver in your pockets, maybe even some gold. The name of the whorehouse is The Pearl. Beat down any mercenaries that are out of line and send them a message. I said beat down, not kill. Make that really clear, not on fire, or exploded, or make a nose, whatever type of grisly death you can dream up. Sorry, used to giving orders to my boys. Just leave them breathing and I'll be happy. Thank you, Warden. Happy hunting. I recognize you from Ostagar, and trust this blood. You're a Grey Warden, Duncan's apprentice. You killed my friend, and got King Caelan. I demand satisfaction, sir. An uncommon traitor deserves no common death. 
We will meet on the field of honor, and my blade shall see justice done. Meet me in the back alley behind the Nord Noble Tavern. There we will duel. Make peace with the Maker, sir. These are your last moments. Mr. Let's Make Kissy Faces over there. My, my. You are jealous, aren't you? Did I take your favorite Grey Warden away from you? What? I'm not jealous. I'm horrified. Those blushing cheeks of yours tell a different tale. These blushing cheeks are terrified that you'll suck all the blood out of them once you're finished with them. If I feel the need to suck on anything of yours, Alistair, you'll be the first to know. That? was so not what I meant. Perhaps we should go and tell him together about your touching concerns. Perhaps he'll pay more attention to you if you ask nicely. Uh-huh. I think we're done here. Done before you started, in fact. What do you need? Ask away. I suppose I could. But I really would rather not. When the Grand Cleric let Duncan recruit me, she made me swear never to reveal Templar secrets outside of the Chantry. I'd rather not go back on my word. I don't think this is Of course I do. It's just... I don't think you necessarily need Templar secrets to defeat the Dartspawn. Ask me later, perhaps. Maybe I'll change my mind. This is not something small you're asking, after all. What can I get you, stranger? Yes. What are you doing here? Who are you? My name is Waylon. I'm the assistant of the scholar Brother Genitivi. This is his house. And where is he? I'm looking for you. That makes two of us. I haven't seen Brother Genitivi in weeks. He said no word. It's so unlike him. I'm afraid something has happened. Genitivi's research into the urn may have led him into danger. Do you think he's in trouble of the urn? Perhaps the urn has been lost for a reason. I pray for Genitivi's safety, but hope dwindles with each passing day. I, I tried to send help, but some knights came from Redcliffe looking for him not long ago. I sent them after Genitivi and they too have disappeared. I must go after... Now don't ask me where they went. You'll go after them. And what if ill luck should befall you too? This search is a curse on all of us. Some things are, are not meant to be found. I know that now. I'm willing to risk it. Tell me where he went. So be it. All he said before he left was that he would be staying at an inn near Lake Kalinhard, investigating something in that area. Good. I'll head for the inn and... Good luck. May you find the answers you seek. What are you doing? You're not supposed to go in there. Why not? I'm sorry, but that room is not for guests. It's full of books and papers, and I'd rather they were not disturbed. I won't mess them up. I said no. Jim TV was a very private person. Tagging something, and I want to know what it is. No, don't touch that door! <laughs> Yes. 
We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. What's this? <laughs> it is a rather odd discussion you seem to desire, leaning in so closely. Not unless you stop. savage. I would not take advantage of you. Right, I'm gonna go to the camp and it's gonna change my party. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. You were there. You saw what happened. I think it turned out quite well. I, I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Arles family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It, well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small, I owe the art that much. If we can stop the blight, we we'll save much more. You want to stop me seeing this? I thought it needed to be said. What can I say? I'm a giver. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. as good a time as any. Ah, such a romance.
Yes, if you must. Alright, we need to go to the barrel. Turn around and watch, stranger. This affair is for white falcons only. We're the toughest, meanest, and loudest mercenary band from the free marches. If you haven't heard of us yet, you will soon. Now get out. Time to close before there's trouble. Get a load of this guard. You're telling us what to do? Nobles weren't so well, so just not worth Not exactly what I'm telling you. No, God. You, you aren't no covered guard. You're with all hands. Don't go out what it gets on her kid's bedside, do we? Tell Carlo who you are speaking to. I will give you a chance to leave quietly. Make a chance. Oh, I could have handled it. Thanks. Bye. I was hoping I'd find you. I heard about the Pearl. I don't know how, but you got them to leave with no fuss at all. The Pearl's workers will... Nobody gives orders to my men but me. A little less in respect is in order. I see. Don't bother sparing these lads. Things are about to get messy. Poor enemies ahead. <laughs> Thank you. 
voluntarily attack you. Are they just stupid? Here's the payment I promised. I might have more work if you're interested. But I'm heading back to the market district. Back out is just too dangerous for me. Wait, where are you going? Puppy! Where did you get it? Point back where you found. Good to see you back. I've got complaints in the Nord Noble Tavern that some mercenaries have invaded. Nothing violent has happened. The cell swords are probably just disturbing the nobles' rarefied conversation. Just drum the louts out of there. The barkeep doesn't mind some blood, or sport as she called it. Captain said Denrim won't miss a few dead mercenaries. You will, and good luck. Edwina sends her thanks for getting rid of the Crimson Oars. She got her sport and she's as pleased as a swine in mud. Here's payment. You've helped out a great deal.
All right, I need to go all the way over there. Right, as soon as I get there, I'm going to go and end it. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.